<laughs> Alright, welcome to another KM6LYW radio field report. Hey, I am in the middle of nowhere. I don't know you guys know where the Rubicon Trail is. The Rubicon Trail, and um, we were actually, actually up at the Rubicon Reservoir camping. We are literally 100 kilometers from anywhere. I mean, there is just nobody anywhere, but we are operating radios here. In fact, that is the only way to stay in touch is via radio. We're using APRS specifically. Uh, so wife keeps in touch with our daughter who's uh, in a city, uh, I don't know, a few hundred miles from here. But uh, there's just no cell phones, no mobile phones for those of you in Europe. Nothing. All we have is APRS and then there's a UHF repeater, I don't know, maybe six, seven miles down the valley um, that can kind of connect into uh, the rest of California. So anyways, here we are at the Rubicon Trail. And uh, I've got a new device here that I haven't talked about yet, at least not significantly. No, it's not the DigiPi, it's something else. So uh, let's uh, let's go check it out. All right, all right. So this is the fishing spot at Desolation Wilderness here on the Rubicon Trail. We did get some bites, but man, uh, we haven't reeled in any fish yet. So, hey, I've got the radio here, uh, the Yaesu FT1 XDR. It has APRS built in, but you know it is such a hassle typing on those little keys. So we've got a new device. So you guys have probably already know this one. This is the Mobile Link. D, the Moby Link D, I don't know how to say it, that's how you spell it though, a TNC3. So this is a, this is an APRS uh, modem basically, it'll do uh, the 1200 baud uh, AFSK modem stuff. And it has a Bluetooth connectivity so you can hook it up to your cell phone and use things like APRS Droid. We've got a cell phone over here. KM6JYI is here with us today. Yeah, you can actually see that. We're a little worried about the glare and the wind because <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere. We, like I said, we were 100 kilometers from anywhere. We backpacked in here. But we're going to see if we can send a text message using nothing more than a mobile phone, which has zero service because we are in Desolation Wilderness. There's no, there's absolutely no service here. And we're going to use this uh, Mobile Link D uh, TNC. So I, I wish I had their website. I'm guessing it's Mobile Link D. Uh, dot com. Uh, we have no internet here, so we we, there's, we just can't fact check anything. So so bear with this. So let's see if we can put this together. I'm gonna hand the camera over to KN6JYI and see if you can cup the uh, <laughs> cup the microphone there. It is kind of breezy. The uh, clouds are rolling in. So here's the the complicated process of connecting the mobile link D. So here's the speaker mic on the radio, and here's the other end. You know, it's a it's a tip ring ring sleeve. We're just going to plug this in here. Um, you want to get the volume levels right, so you know if you're going to change the volume on your radio. I got this at the volume level three. That seemed to be the best. And uh, if we're connected, this will be flashing quickly. It's just kind of glowing blue right now. Um, <laughs> the hardware is a little bit glitchy. This button is really easy to press, and it turns on in your backpack. So I put a little bit of uh, some toothpicks here just to keep some things from pressing on it. In fact, if you press here and here. Um, just press the case, it will actually turn off and on. So be really careful with this. This is a great device from a software perspective. Uh, the firmware is totally open source, open standard. But the hardware, uh, you know, it's it's really just a microcontroller. It's not a Raspberry Pi. You know, it won't do everything the DigiPi does. All it does is the AFSK modem sounds. You know, you're not going to do FT8 or JS8 call on this. But it's great for APRS. Um, so we're going to put it over here. And we're going to use KN6JYI's mobile phone here, if I can balance the radio. How's that look? And I've got the counterpoise and the signal stick on there, and uh, we're going to see if we can get to a digipeter that's just miles from here, miles to the north of here. And there's only one voice repeater, there's absolutely no mobile service. So you guys might already be ready, they're familiar with the APRS Droid. Um, there's also another app you can use that Mobile Link D makes for your phones, your Android phones. It helps you calibrate the sounds, uh, set the push to talk mode, um, you know, whether you know, the duplex, those kinds of settings. So look for uh, Mobile Link D on the Google Play Store. I don't think this is for iOS because I don't think Apple has innovated the uh, serial port, the Bluetooth serial port protocol yet. But you, the Apple guys will probably connect me. So this is APRS Droid. I'm going to click on this on this Android thing here. I'm going to try and film this myself. Let's see if this works. To get rid of the glare so you guys can see this. Um, boy, this, the glare is pretty brutal. I'm going to say start tracking down here. And it's going to connect to the MobyLink D. And it looks like it did. On the MobyLink D, if you can see here, we should do a, see that fast green flash? That means we're connected over Bluetooth. And we're on an APRS frequency 
uh, if that will unblur itself uh, with a volume level 3 and that was the volume level that the uh, mobile link D seemed to like for that radius so we are tracking so now what we want to do is send a message to our daughter who, who may or may not be paying attention to her phone and we're gonna use the SMS GTE gateway okay um, I can do this without without doing a spectacular amount of glare so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click on messages if you saw that and I'm gonna do send message to and I'm gonna type hopefully you can S M S G T E so that's the SMS gateway for APRS so we can send SMS messages to regular phones and that wants to know what our message is now at this point you can type the app percent and then a phone number okay so this is actually a real SMS this isn't an email um, the gateway is actually in Canada so it's gonna be a weird Canadian phone number they get so you know if you want to see if you if your XYL is checking messages from strange phone numbers send her an SMS GD <laughs> message and see if she checks it because it is a weird uh, Canadian prefix so I you can set up aliases so I'm not gonna type a real phone number in here but I set up an alias for my daughter and I just called it uh, it's like her initials which are AL so I type AL space um, I'm gonna say did I should be something urgent right so I'm gonna say did you get this and we'll do a question mark this is so much easier than typing on <laughs> this that horrible keyboard right um, and this is all lightweight backpacking stuff so so I'm gonna send a message to at AL did you get this now there's something a lot of people know about if you type a question mark immediately after the phone number it will give you confirmation if the where's the question mark on here am I looking at it'll give you confirmation there it is that the SMS message actually went to the phone so I'm gonna say at AL that's her uh, that's my alias for SMS GT question mark which means send me a confirmation and then send did you get this to her phone and I'm gonna say uh, what do I say here I say okay mm -hmm. and let's see if it sends so the radio MobiLink D actually transmitted the APRS packet um, you can see it's on one of seven right here and when this turns dark green that means we got an acknowledgement packet back from SMS GTE. It should also send us a message that says message delivered or something like that. Um, it might have not have gone out on the first try. We can also look over here and kind of see what's going on. We'll see the uh, the red LED will come on on the radio. Um, we'll also see, I believe this turns red during transmission. It's blinking fast right now indicating a you know Bluetooth connection. And it'll then APRS Droid will try over and over. See so we're on uh, number two of seven that was transmitted uh, boy hopefully this is working I got that plugged in right <laughs> I'm kinda watching for the uh, the red LE uh, the red light on the radio and the APRS Digipeter you know it's not close you know I am on high power I am using the signal stick um, hopefully we'll we'll get this this is just getting all blurry and stuff too so let me uh, I'm gonna pause you guys so we're not gonna wait for APRS D and we'll see we'll, we'll see what happens I'll resume this in just a second Okay, yeah, we waited about 20 seconds. It took three packets to get that out there. But you can see, since I typed the uh, the question mark after my uh, my daughter's alias of AL, it says message to AL delivered. And again, that could be any phone number. Um, I just didn't want her to give out my daughter's phone number on the internet. I hope, I hope, <laughs> I hope you guys will understand. Yeah. Uh, KM6JYI approves of that uh, approach here. So that is how SMS GT works. I'm really kind of curious if she replies. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put you down or not. So uh, I don't see any more activity. Kind of waiting for the radio to come back. You know, I don't know what it is. You know, if it's <laughs> about teenagers, right? If it's urgent to them, they'll get back, get back to you right away. Otherwise, we might have to wait. So I'll put you on hold and we'll see if she replies to a text message that's from an otherwise strange phone number. Um, <laughs> I might say this is dad, you know, because it could be anybody. She doesn't know because it's coming from a weird, I think it's like a 708 prefix. So uh, let me put you on pause and we'll see if she replies. 
All right, so she didn't respond. You know, okay, I understand. She's probably busy. You know, she's uh, <laughs> she's not a teenager anymore. Anyways, the important thing is that we know the message was delivered. Um, while I had you guys on pause, you'll notice that this message turned dark green. Uh, that's an indication at the APRS protocol level that the message was, in fact, received, and we got an ACK, an acknowledgement back. Um, so, yeah, we sent her a mess- an SMS message uh, using the SMS GTE service. Uh, go out to the uh, Google SMS GTE. GTE. This guy's doing a great job here. I think it's a Canadian operation. And uh, do send him a donation if you send a lot of SMS messages. Uh, SMS messages aren't free, right? So there's you know a small fee for every single one of these, um, unlike APRS. But hey, this is a great way to bridge these networks. We can bridge the APRS network with the SMS network and really communicate with a lot of different people. So uh, this is, again, the field report talking about the MobiLink D TNC. It's a little expensive. It's well over a hundred U.S. dollars. Um, it well, the one thing that's cool is it has its own built-in battery, so you just plug it into a USB charger, just like a a, a cell phone. You know, it doesn't have a screen, but it does have some indicator lights. Um, if you figure out what the indicator lights mean. Let me know or let us know in the comments. Um, it's a little glitchy, the implementation. The software is, is top-notch, absolutely top-notch. Um, I did notice like when I, if I just press on the case here, um, it will actually turn off. Well, maybe it didn't turn off. That's why I put these toothpicks in here. If you squeeze the case, I think that was it. <laughs> if you squeeze the case, it just turns off. So yeah, listen, we can work on the hardware a little bit, I suppose. But you know, I just put it in a box. But we're in a, you know, when you're backpacking, um, everything gets crushed and squished, and uh, <laughs> that's kind of normal. Everything gets busted up. So I just wanted to share with you Desolation Wilderness with the field report. And we are having a great time here backpacking. Um, we really hiked in. Actually, we had a kayak in across one lake and then uh, hike what another five miles in here um, we we're I don't know maybe uh, 20 30 miles from Lake Tahoe in that direction uh, and uh, of course the Pacific Ocean is that way hey this is KM6 LYW radio thanks for hanging out with me in desolation wilderness on the Rubicon Trail thanks